Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Xalas. This is episode 8 and this is a special episode about Corrupt and Angel 2.0. Uh, yes, he deserves a second episode because uh, at release I wasn't so convinced about his abilities but I'm not sure if they watched my video but they changed several things about him that actually make him viable. So I, won't, I don't want you to take the, a bad decision about this guy based on my first video. Uh, so I decided to make a remake about this guy and I tested him quite extensively with the, with the same guildmates as the one in my uh, previous video, okay? Uh, so sit back, enjoy, and decide by yourself, okay? So first of all, um, he's not orange anymore like at first release. Remember, I released the first video really as soon as they released him. I got him to with the gear I was given and the time I was given. I, he wasn't even full skill when I first released the video. So now it's different. He's full skills. He's uh, at orange plus two. And I'm going to show you what changed actually that makes him viable. As you remember right, the first... Uh, his ultimate actually. In the first video, if you watch it back, it, this skill used to deal magic damage. His gear is, is the same, so he's, it is based on attack damage. Pretty much all his gear is based on attack damage. Uh, so, he's... Which make no sense at first be, uh, because his ultimate is based on magic damage when they first release it. Now they changed it and it deals physical damage. Okay? Not only that, and the basic attack actually was buffed, so his magic damage de dealt up around 1000 something, okay? Now it's around 3000, almost 4000, okay? And it doesn't count the bonus that his stats gives him. Uh, his left sacrifice, this guy, this is what makes him force your while because in when he was first released at level 93. He used to buff his whole team by 550-60, I'm not sure, but around 560. Uh, they doubled that and now it's around 1100, okay? Which totally changed the game about this guy. Uh, the other two skills, I, didn't th I don't think they changed it. I'm not sure if this is, like, he steals less HP than when he... He was first released, okay? I'm not sure. I should have watched my first video just to remind myself, but I didn't have time for that. So, these practically is the only changes they did, and it's quite enough actually to change your mind about this guy. So, before checking out the replays that the, my guildmates helped me with, I just want you to um, keep in mind that I kept Griffin out of uh, my teams on purpose because I know some of you guys can't can't own them yet uh, which I kept in mind so I tried my best just to keep in my selection only heroes that you can possibly get right now okay uh, so let's check out our replays okay replay by screen let us see so all curse, queen of curse, machinist, pretty much magic dealers except for the ninja assassin. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> she swapped my CA, which is really bad because I don't think we can see him in action. Okay, he buffed my whole team. Oh, perfect! She brought back a tank. A bodyguard for CA. CA who is corrupt and angel, of course. Okay, Machinus is locked down. My Machinus is going for attack. Keep in mind he is buffed by 1100 attack damage, okay? And ultimate, which is a bit late, but better late than. Okay, the star of this team is Witch. So this is my first team. The second team I just switched uh, IE instead of uh, Witch because 
most teams right now keep ninja assassin most of the teams just try uh, getting ninja assassin in their team uh, which is pretty much normal but we need a guy to uh, we need a counter in order to keep ca alive and so this video could be instructive enough so even though his damage in this video is not showing uh keep in mind that he buffs the whole team with attack damage which is ninja assassin but this video didn't help us much to see his full potential let's check on the second one corsair yes yeah, cc ie death mage commando Commander, I'm not sure, I keep just confusing between the both of them. Ah, he got Turtle Fighter in his ult. My Ninja Assassin went in, he killed his IE ultimate. Actually, his ultimate is deals quite a lot. Boom! Okay, looks like I'm gonna win this one. So this one is one IE. 61k. And when he was first released, at most, he dealt around 15k and 20k. I saw, re I saw replays where he dealt much more. Quite um, around 100k, okay? And, and he is at 4 stars right now. Let's check, another, uh, let's check another one. Boy, I'm having trouble with language today. Uh, turtle swaps didn't help much. Yeah, it didn't help at all. So, a second replay by Corsair. Okay, he has a Vanguard who is hiding here. He will charge in. Oh my god. Uh, good thing Turtle Fighter doesn't care about his charge. Okay, buffing everyone. Okay, ulti before dying, please. Thank you. Killing Vanguard. He's ever plays at the top of this game. Mining just has some charging. Okay, looks like his succubus is pretty much dead. Zai is dead. And finally. Come on, come on, die already. Whoa, seriously? What's the use of the buff if you cannot touch him? <laughs> Actually, my, <laughs> my corrupt angel dealt the most here. I'm not sure if he's really buffing the team or he's buffing himself. <laughs> anyway, how much is Ember Blood dead? Okay, impressive act. First replay by Lynx. Oh, Nature Storm. A silencer. I and double tank. Well, I'm not sure if you can qualify my as tank if you, if you see my previous videos. This guy deals a lot of damage. If you didn't watch the video, go right now. Okay, my witch is gonna die because her ultimate. Okay. No, actually, she's gonna kill everybody. Witch, ultimate, she's safe. Control silence. My ninja assassin is useless. Come on. Thank you. Killed one. No. Yeah! Reflected, baby! And I'm gonna kill both. Oh. Oh, actually, he revived! <laughs> Not so useless after all. <laughs> Perfect. But... We didn't win because of...
for an angel like me went because of which I think. Oh uh, well, he dealt. Change his uh, admiral for Fallen Dominion. Oh god, he locks my ninja assassin. Come on, release him. Okay, ultimate by CA. Perfect. Okay, he just doesn't do nothing. His nature storm will die. Okay. Looks like we'll get a second ultimate, hopefully. No. Come on! Come on! Perfect. Okay, he's pretty much dead. We got three one shots. Okay, perfect. Okay, I change something in my team. I just put Fallen Dominion so we could really um, get full advantage of uh, CA's buff. Okay. As you can notice, it doesn't last long. That's my main concern about this guy. Okay, Ninja Assassin is dead. <laughs> my two. My two main damage dealers are dead. Anyway. I'm not sure what is left. I lost this one. I'm pretty much dead. Let's check the other one. problems of CA is that he's really squishy okay okay perfect he had time to ultimate before he got petrified okay looks like I want this one my two main damage dealers got buffed as you recall But I'm not sure it lasts that long to make a difference, you know? 
Uh, what? Where do I use him in? I use him in the Grand Arena. Okay, this team that I just showed you, and actually can win. Okay, and also, okay, I cannot show you the hero trial, but maybe on this one, I put my chances left, and I use him here. So basically, the big, almost the same team I use usually. Which is where is this guy? Okay. I just put in an auto and show you that this can be done with, with this guy too. Time to do anything. And the last wave. Oh. She managed to CC everyone. Come on, stop dodging for God's sake. It's a good thing it's undodgeable, his ult. Let's look at stat. And pretty much impressive. Actually, as damage. Okay. As much as V, as much as Ninja Assassin. He's great at PvE. And that is all for tonight, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you made up your mind with uh, whether you are getting this guy or not. Uh, if you want my my personal opinion uh, well I'm I won't deny I'm using it in Grand Arena okay but I don't use him in arenas like as my best choice for for arena okay uh, there are better choices than him I still think it would have been better if they added a crowd control to his ultimate but that is asking too much okay uh, He's definitely much more improved, that's for sure. Um, I still think he's a bit too squishy, but maybe his heal is um, making up for that and his revive, which is uh, great. Uh, the thing is, when he revives, his ultimate is completely reset, so if he doesn't have time to use his ultimate, uh, it's pretty much game over for him. Uh, his buff is awesome, but it doesn't last long. Okay, it's renewable, but if you think you're right, it, it doesn't last more than one second or two seconds at most. At, uh, two, I'm okay, three seconds at most in in the fight. Uh, that said, I use them in many things like raids, uh, more particularly at the dragon. In chapter, if I'm not mistaken, uh, chapter 14, yes, and several other points where there are, you know, the wave one where there are a lot of trash mobs to use. So if I use a physical team, I definitely use this guy because his ultimate is just great, with several targets which make him uh, competitive in terms of damage because his ult is, uh, n I mean, it can it could reach anyone. Anyway, bottom line, he's much better, so don't count on my previous video for this guy if you want to make up your mind. At the end, it's your decision. Um, if you have the, the team that goes with him, and I didn't thought him, uh, like thought through which is the best team for this guy, I didn't make much more re research for this guy. So if you have suggestions about him uh, if you have a good team which is unstoppable for him it's all about sharing so 
if you have a better team suggested, if you have a good player in your guild that suggests good teams with this guy, I'm all ears. I'd love to test new combination with this guy. Since I own him and I have him at O2, I'm really looking forward for your suggestions if you have any. Anyway, uh, I hope uh, this video got to change your mind about this guy. If so, hurry to get him as soon as possible if you intend to buy him with gems. Otherwise, you're gonna wait two months or more, like we saw with Witch and Turtle Fighter. Other than that, that's all for tonight, guys. Thank you again for watching and see you guys next time.